Did they give her all five warnings? I don't think so. I've got it all on film anyway. Oh, well, that needs looking at. If they skip well, the, 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 the warning doesn't right, and that's another thing. The warning doesn't mean anything legally. So, in the sense, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, it's an option that we have, and it's a, it's the, the best practice. That's what it is, mm -hmm. and we should be doing it. And the courts would like us to do it because it, it demonstrates that we've given as much. But it, there's nothing to say that I have to warn someone when I'm going to arrest them. Um, it's just a, it's just a, you know, it's a good accepted tactic. But this that is we the use. thing, isn't it? This is peaceful protest, and you should actually be encouraging peaceful protest. Well, the, we don't have the to alternative. encourage it. We, we, we no, try to facilitate is, it. So yeah. we try to make sure that if people want to do it, they have an opportunity to yeah. do it. Yeah. But, but the uh, alternative but, 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 is not peaceful protest, and this is the point we're peacefully protesting. And that's kind of a, it is one of the safety valves for society is to have peaceful protest. Absolutely, yeah. And as a PLT officer, that's exactly what we manage all the time. That's what we. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're there is yeah. to try and make sure that they do. Yeah. happen yeah. but I but I also have to come back to this sort of problem that I have if you like is that everyone is going to have a different tolerance everyone's yeah. going to have a different interpretation of what's going on the the, the geography of the land the, the situation today you know who's what the vehicles are bringing in what you know how much risk there is I don't know there might be some machinery on there that they yeah. don't they're very worried about all those things sort of wrap up and at some point they're going to say my bosses are going to say okay this is I want this to. Ha I want them to have their protest, and most of them will sit there and go. Actually, I want them to have a protest because we accept that. That's that's that's, that's human rights. That's mm. there, mm. and that will trump us later in court, mm. possibly. But at the same time, I also want. And believe it or not, I've had three or four complaints from locals already this morning who have come up and said, "Actually, I'm, I'm really pissed off about the bit this morning," and they've actually said, "I'm really annoyed about this." So you're, you're sort of. You're putting all this stuff into a big pie and you're saying, okay, my tolerance is this. 10 minutes, then warn them, and then if they still that. don't want to move, then, yeah. then they're going to do it. Knowing, knowing as well that there are other lorries. So yeah. it's not just about that. You know, it might, you might sit there and go, actually, it's unreasonable. That was just, you know, one person with one lorry. Actually, the boss down there is considering, I've got however many other lorries coming out. If I just allow this to happen this is going to go on till midnight or whatever and of course he's going to be reasonable and so actually i can't i can't, I can't tolerate that mm. like you just said those resources here you know what's the public going to say if they turn around and say well actually the, the police allowed every lorry to be two hours getting out uh, is that reasonable the police are not yeah, actually allowing anything are they they're there to well, make sure everybody's safe well, we're, we're I, managing a situation well, I get, I get though, yeah i, I mean it's it, to manage people to be safe but what, all i'm saying is if i look at the number of guys you've got on the ground here simply to deal with a few people slow walking you know local people like me i'm not an activist I, i'm a local guy who supports the, the cause that these people are involved in now i've seen i don't know what 12 15 people being thrown at this you've only got at any one time two people walking in front of a lorry so to me it's kind of like you know it's almost like you're creating an argument that uh, uh, this is this is using up untold police resources when actually well, also, why, 12, why 12, 15 people any, being thrown any, at it? But, but for any policing operation, if you had 12 or 15, that's, that's not bad, actually. <laughs> I have to say, in, in, in policing terms, I'm being genuinely honest there. And, you know, if you're talking about a, a potential football operation or something like that, you're talking about... Yeah, but you've got a lot of footballers at football. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like but, say, but, 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 to be fair, but to be fair, you've never, you've never got a, a large heavy goods vehicle driving down a road with people about a foot away from the bumper. And... Yeah. That does take a little bit of. They do have to make sure that not only you guys are safe, but we're safe, mm. and the the vehicle drivers as well. They're safe, and that doesn't. If you're going to arrest, if you're going to potentially arrest someone, mm. suddenly your resources are gone fairly quickly. So you've mm. got to have enough to be able to deal with what you want to yeah. deal with. And of course, you know that's for the commander to decide. And, yeah. and, but if you've seen 12 to 15 people, I would say actually in policing terms, that's that's probably not bad. Actually. How many was it, Bolcom? Well, Do you remember? Up to, well, we had up to about 200. I okay. thought there was more than that at some right. point. No, but no, there yeah, were 13 there was, forces at once, weren't they? There was 100 on, a, on, a, on an average day when we had the big bit in the middle. Yeah. There was probably up to about 200. I thought there was about three of them. No, not, not, not on an average day. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I, I know they had, like, I saw, like, I think 12 or 13 police forces there at oh, one yeah, time. Yeah. You oh, know? yeah, lots of them coming in to do. Because uh, they changed uh, the Sussex ones over when they started getting familiar with us, didn't you know? Do you remember? When we, were, we were always there. We were always there, yeah. <laughs> but we started talking to you guys and, and sort of getting a little bit of a, a rapport going and, and a bit of an understanding going and what happens, they, they go and 
chuck Thames Valley or somebody. Oh, I know, in. yeah, and that can be a bit. That's the inconsistency that we don't like, and that's yeah. a policing inconsistency. Well, the, yeah, this is some of what we're on about, though. I mean, yeah, no, you know, I agree, I agree with you. And, uh, but the, but human, I've said it before. Human nature is that you're not. You know, I'd, if we were robots, and no, I could, I know you, you know, I could give you that sign in the morning that says this is exactly what's going to happen today. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love it. That'd be great, wouldn't it? You you could sit there and go, oh, fine, okay, brilliant. We know exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Life isn't like that. Humans aren't like that. You know, if it's a different commander tomorrow, you might turn around and say, actually, you know, I'm not happy with that. I think that's reasonable. This is reasonable. Mm. We're always going to have that tolerance. Yeah. Okay, I, I get that. I get where you're coming from. All I say is that is that what I would ask you to consider on this particular site is that actually this is actually quite a good place for people to be able to make a protest uh, and, and it to be targeted and not to have too many adverse effects on other people because there are other routes into the village. There are other routes to most of the local farms. So actually, this is a place where people like me can turn up and feel like that we are particularly protesting at a specific thing, which is, you know, this, this drilling site. And we're not going to have loads and loads of knock-on effects. There's no traffic jams being caused. You know, it's, it's, it's peaceful. So it's kind of, in a way, it's, it's one of the best forms of protest you could have. That, that no one's really being hurt by this apart from, and I, you know, to me, it, I don't, I don't I have nothing against either trucking companies. They just do what they do. They're just pawns in a game. Mm -hmm. You know, my issue is is to do with climate change and it's to do with water protection and things like that. So, I, you know, I'm not angry with people that drive lorries. That's just what this is what they have to do for their job. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, don't forget the time that they all um, went on strike as well and brought the country to a standstill yeah, exactly. because they were yeah. fed up with the fuel taxes yeah, and, agree, and all that kind yeah, of thing. All these, you know, Everybody's entitled to to their, you know, their, their way of protesting. Yeah, 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 and the protest is not you're not protesting against the middlemen. You're protesting no, about the actual exactly. issue. You know, well, I'm not here to to ruin a lorry driver's life or give him a bad day. It, it, it's a, it's a it's a it's a kind of un you know it's it's a side effect that you just go well that's unfortunate but. There is a bigger issue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm perfectly happy to feed that back in when I speak to the boss later. I am, and I will sort of relay that back. But I say I'm, I'm sort of down here when, the, when it comes to the sort of the cogs of this. And yeah, therefore, I I, I, what I want to do is make sure that you guys understand. Yeah, okay. You know. I don't want. There's certain yeah, people here that I know yeah. instinctively do not want to get arrested and don't want to get yeah. into that sort of zone. So it's. I, I don't have a problem with it in as in as much as. Um, you know, it's 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 the inconvenience of it. I, I don't have it. I I I'm never go, I'm never going to be violent on behalf of any cause or anything like that. I'm prepared to be inconvenienced, and if me being inconvenienced meant that I might be arrested, it, that wouldn't stop me being arrested per se. I don't think it's it's the, the end of the world to be arrested. But my issue is, <laughs> it happens to be right now a massive inconvenience because I've got a job to do and I've got you know bloody yeah. blah. So. I've taken a call on it today that actually today it's not worth me, me, me spending eight hours in, in Red Hill Police Station because I've got work to do. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, with that, I'm going to actually trundle yeah. back to the, uh, okay. to the warmth of that fire. Good. Okay, well. <laughs>